I have a question for you. Actually, I have a question for the children here in the church. You'll be able to answer this one, okay? Think about this. If you went and sat in your garage, have you got a garage at home? Or a carport? You got a garage? If you went and sat in your garage, would that make you a car? Would you become a car if you went and sat in your garage? No? Right on! You wouldn't become a car, you'd still be a child. Okay, that's funny, isn't it? I thought that was funny. One of the very early teachers that I listened to used to use that analogy. And I'll tell you why she used it. She said, actually, before, I, before I, I tell you the answer to that, I would like to read for you from James chapter 2, verses 19 to 20. And it says, You believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? You, as just as you cannot sit in your garage and become a car, there are some people that sit in church and think they're Christians. It's said there that faith without works is dead. That means there's something you have to do. So that statement in James is a bit sarcastic. Even the devil believes there's a God and it's more than acknowledging that God exists. It's receiving him as your personal saviour. So you can't sit in a garage and become a car. Lots of people acknowledge that God exists, but they have not received him. It's like what Pastor Gary was saying about knowing about somebody or knowing about God or knowing that person or knowing that God. There's a big difference. So you need to make sure that you have a new heart a new spirit. I can't see if you're all born again, but God does. He knows. And how do you get there? It's the best decision you'll ever make. So I'm also talking to those people who are watching online right now. You can make this decision as well. And if you go to Romans 10, 9 and 10, it says, if, thou, if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead, I added an extra word in there, you will be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth conf confession is made unto salvation. And in verse 13 it says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. By his grace, God has already done everything to provide salvation. Your part is simply to believe and to receive. So for anyone here who hasn't yet made that decision, or maybe you're just not sure if you have or not, it was so long ago, you might have done it in Sunday school and you haven't had an opportunity to do it again, here is another opportunity for you. Pray out loud because... You need to hear it. You need to hear your confession. 
Jesus, I confess that you are my Lord and Saviour. I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead by faith in your word I receive salvation now. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.